welcome to my channel. I'm Nigel Gardner. This week I am giving you five reasons to love flamenco. Let's get on with reason number one to love flamenco guitar. Finger and thumb strumming. So this mainly is because I have nylon strings. The idea is that you're, you're using one finger to strum down and thumb to strum up. Let's take a look at that a little more clearly. Alright, so reason number one leads us to reason number two, using your thumb as a kind of double strum to create a triplet feel. So if I take my fingers and go down, then thumb down, then thumb up, and I can use that as like one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. I'm not actually going to do that every single time. We could put it in on say the third beat of the bar, so we might have one and two and three and a, four and Okay, let's check out a little demo of that. Reason number three, we're going to use the rascuedo. That is the idea that we take, we have four fingers and we are releasing them one at a time. I'm not clenching my hand up like a fist, it's just, they're just curled and I go little finger, ring finger, second finger, and first finger. I'm just releasing them, they do have names, there's these Latin words for these, P-I-M-A-C, that's pulgar, I think this is either Spanish or Latin. Polgar, Indice, Medio, Annula, Chica. So if you see P in a, in a some kind of tab book or something, it probably is referring to right hand, it will mean thumb. P for thumb, I for index, M for middle, uh, A for annula, and I don't, you don't see Chica that often, but I'm pretty sure that's what it gets used as. So C A M I. Do that 9,000 times, you should be fine. I like to think I probably did, but I enjoyed it. I've kind of figured out this thing where I can go backwards as well. And it looks really freaky, I think. Okay, let's check out a demo of that, incorporating it into a 4-4 rhythm. So let's just combine those two reasons. We've got the triplet feel with the rascuedo. Uh, I'll use that chord progression again, A minor, G, C, E major. So. Okay, reason number four, we're going to take the heel of our hand and thud it down behind the bridge to get that bass sound. And then we bring it over for a uh, slap or a tap, whatever you want to call it, just on the end of the neck, of the, of the fretboard. Okay, so one and two and and four and. Let's just hear a quick demo of that. Okay, the fifth reason why I love flamenco. Let's take a really tired and cliched chord progression for flamenco, like E major, and then F slash E, that's F with an E in the bass, 
and then we'll take that same chord shape two frets higher up to G. I'm sure you've heard that before. Well, if you were to solo over that, you would need an E7 arpeggio. And we have an E Phrygian mode. Now, if you combine those, you're going to have the F and C from the Phrygian mode. That's the flat two and the flat six. But then you're going to have the E7 arpeggio. So you end up with E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, D, E. There's one slightly confusing thing here because sometimes we need the G. So if you take your... Sometimes we get that G, that natural G sound, but then if you're playing over E, you've got the G sharp. So there's that tension there of constantly moving between G and G sharp. It just depends on what feels right or sounds right in the moment. There's not really a right answer with that. You're just using both. It's just really about hearing it and listening to it. I think that's my favorite thing about these kind of modes. A mode like this is quite advanced because it's it's just constantly, I, I kind of think of it like waves in the ocean where nothing's ever the same twice. A strange analogy I know but there it is. Alright guys if you found this stuff useful there'll be a free PDF and tab sheet on my Patreon page. There's a link for that on the description below. Um, thanks everyone. I now have over 500 subscribers and counting. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again for another video. Maybe one of these two. Cheers, guys. Bye.